and this is my good friend Mia Harris, who's a holistic nutritionist. Hey guys. Since we absolutely love smoothie bowls, I thought it would be fun to create a video showing you how to make an epic smoothie bowl using exactly what you already have on hand. In fact, for this video, we didn't plan or buy anything special. I invited Mia over and asked her to bring whatever ingredients she has, and I have brought dug mine out, and we're just gonna throw it all together and go with the flow. Yeah, and have some fun. Yeah, <laughs> while we do this. <laughs> Nutritionally speaking, what do you like to add into a smoothie? So for smoothies, I think it's really important to have a good balance of protein, carbs, and fats. When you just have a fruit smoothie, you're gonna get hungry pretty quick if you don't have a fat or a carb in there. So I like to have some protein powder, add a really healthy fat, and that's gonna keep you nice and full until your next meal. In terms of looking for like protein powders and liquids, what do you recommend? So for liquids, I always like to do an unsweetened almond milk or coconut milk or cashew milk. Um, you could also do coconut water is nice in a smoothie as well, or you could just use filtered water or um, yeah, some which is other what, tricks that we have too. <laughs> which is what I do a lot, water, and then I add like a spoonful of almond butter or any kind of nut butter, even tahini, and blend it up and you've got instant nut milk. Mm -hmm. Or I take a spoonful of full fat coconut milk add it to water and voila, you've got super creamy coconut milk. Yeah, so there's lots of options. I usually stay away from juice, like orange juice or apple juice, just because it's quite high in sugar. And we're gonna be adding fruit in it anyway, so you just don't need that yeah. extra sugar mm -hmm. in it. Totally. Mm -hmm. And then protein powders. So protein powders, um, either a plant-based or a whey protein. Um, we wanna look for proteins that have minimal ingredients in it, that are clean, um, that they don't have artificial sweeteners like sucralose or aspartame in it. Mm -hmm. um, I usually go for one that has a mix of plant-based proteins like pea protein or quinoa, brown rice, things like that, and mm -hmm. are sweetened with stevia. Well, one of the most important things for a smoothie bowl is having frozen fruit to keep it nice and thick, right? Mm -hmm. Banana or avocado to keep it thick and creamy. Mm -hmm. And you want to, you don't want to add too much liquid. Yeah, I think that's the yeah. trick too. So, shall we get this party started? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Woo <-hoo! laughs> okay, let's grab the Vitamix. Okay. So here are our pooled resources for today's smoothie bowl. Mm -hmm. We've got unsweetened vanilla almond milk, the bananas, avocado, mango, protein powder, peaches, frozen raspberries, frozen blueberries. Okay, so Mia, start adding things in, and if you notice here, this is a total eyeball. Those in smoothies, because it makes it super thick and creamy. Do two scoops of raspberries. We're putting a whole avocado in, half for each of us. <laughs> and that's it. Easy, simple ingredients in there. Okay, now it's time to blend it up. How's it looking? Yeah. Mm. Nice and thick. Mm. Yummy. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. super thick. So here's what we've got for toppings. Mia is slicing up a banana. I brought some pumpkin seeds and coconut flakes. Mia brought chia, pistachios, some chocolate, what is this, coconut chips, coconut chips, coconut granola, goji berries, some cookie dough balls, my homemade chocolate clusters that we can chop up and put on top, and some coconut butter treats, and I will link to these two recipes in the description box. Oh, yes. And you can seriously use any toppings you have on hand. Now, we get to decorate. Mm -hmm. Epic. 
Now we're outside taking photos of our smoothie bowls. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to try them. Woohoo! <laughs> Yum. Go make your smoothie bowl, guys. <laughs> See you later. You're gonna get. Well, you're gonna get.